Kicking off the start of our hour is staff writer and columnist for the New York Times. He regularly hosts cooking demos on New York Times Cooking YouTube channel, and now he's out with his new cookbook, Korean American Food That Tastes Like Home. It is filled with recipes inspired by being raised in Atlanta by his immigrant parents. Please welcome someone I am a huge fan of. Please, Tan Fam, let's give it up for Eric Kim. <laughs> You hear that? You have such an amazing audience. Oh, the Tam Fam is real. Like, yeah. they're real. This is real. I, I mean, we. I, I can't wait to launch into this because I, I was a little late to the party of the pressure cooker, but once I joined the party, I won't stop. <laughs> I have cooked a mashed potato recipe I found on the New York Times app. I've even cooked oxtails in my pressure cooker. So I want to launch into this recipe. You are doing a short rib braise with kimchi on pasta. Tell me about the inspiration to this dish. Yeah, you know, I mean, the, the thing is you're replacing the tomato that would normally be in a short rib braise that goes with pasta. And it's funny how like it's still reminiscent of that Sunday sauce, that Sunday oh. gravy vibe. And it just it's a family style kind of dish. All right, let's launch in. Yeah, let's start. So one of the functions, of course, is saute. We have it on saute and we're searing yeah. our meat. Um, you season English short ribs with yeah. salt and pepper here. So it's this one. That's that You've one. We've got two kinds of short ribs on your Yeah, I have it right thing. here. And you know, as much as I love this style, this is like a, it's called a flanken style, uh -huh. flanken cut short rib, and that's great for quick grilling. Right. But for braising, I love this English style. It's a heartier, it's very okay, thick. okay. And so you just season that really well with salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna sear it in some olive oil in the saute pan. One little trick, uh -huh. you know, to get we something. We love a trick. Yeah, one thing to get this to be nonstick is to make sure the pot heats before you add oil. It's like this with a lot of, uh, <laughs> you guys are the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's with it's like that with a lot of pans actually. Yeah. So anyway. heat it and then do the oil. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people I used to before I started right. watching you, I would just put the oil in and expect it all to heat up at the same time. Yeah. Okay. All right. But, so we've got it done right here and so it's that's not all sticky. You do. Yeah. And then these are um, perfectly brown, gorgeous. Okay. It's about eight minutes. You want to brown minutes. it and you know I do think browning it in this case makes a lot of sense because it's a lot of um, you know wet ingredients. So we're trying to get as much of that Maillard as possible. Maillard We're trapping reaction. in the juiciness when we sear it that on these too, sides. Too. Okay. And also, you've got all this flavor now. I don't know if mm. we have cameras above, but. Yes, we do. <laughs> all right. So you got the flavors yeah. ready for our ingredients. You got lots of flavor in the pot, and we're going to kind of pick it up okay. by sauteing some onions in there. We're all just right. going to take the thinly sliced onion. Got it. Add it. I'm mirroring you. Yeah, it's my yeah. goal in life. I told you you're on my bucket list, and now you're here. I heard, I heard you love cooking. I, I, so love I love cooking, and I love eating more, so that's why I want to yeah. try this. <laughs> hey, I say that all the time. Yeah. I've always said that, you, you know, you can't really learn to cook if you don't love eating. No. I really believe that. I agree. All right. These are great garlic cloves. They're huge. Okay. So four garlic cloves four, going Four, well. all right. And, you know, you can add everything at once, but at this point, I would, I would sort of stir it around. Okay. The onions are gonna kind of soften, let mm. out some of their moisture, right. and that's going to deglaze the the, the bits on the bottom, okay. all that flavor. Mm. And deglazing just means, you know, picking up those stuck the on crunchy bits, bits, the right. crunchy bits, mm -hmm. and you want that all in your sauce at the end. This is all very hands off. You can just dump everything else in. Okay. And all I'm doing is, well, first adding kimchi. Mm -hmm. I love kimchi, um, mm. of course. Okay, we're just gonna add it. Okay, add our kimchi. And you know, like cooked kimchi has such a different flavor than raw. Yeah. It just really mellows out. You're gonna smell it. Oh, uh -huh. you guys probably smell, smell it now already. Mm -hmm. It smells amazing. Isn't it great? It's mm -hmm. really, really delicious. So we mix that in. Yeah, just mix it in. That you in. don't even okay. have to mix it in if you okay. don't want. But now, in order to just fortify those salty, funky, umami flavors that are already in the kimchi, mm -hmm. I'm adding soy sauce. Okay, I've got my soy sauce here. And by the way, this recipe is on our social media page, so you'll be able to follow along with us, but also go on our social media for all of this. And then... Perfect. Some sesame oil. Ses I love sesame this oil. This adds a nuttiness. All right. This is gochugaru. It is a Korean red pepper powder. Mm. It smells I, amazing. It's amazing. It's what kimchi's made out of. It's why it's red. You're just making this taste even more of itself. And so are we doing the entire bit? Yeah. Oh. And it's not too spicy. Um, okay. Nice. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it's got a little heat, but got I think the thing, the thing with gochugaru is a pepper is a fruit, you know? So there's a fruitiness. Okay. 
It's like there's a little sweetness. It's just okay. a really great. All right, so we've got all of this in. Do we add back oh, our salt? All right, of course. So there's actually, this is actually sugar. Oh. So it's a little sugar. It balances everything. Nice. Sugar's good. Oh, and I love right. how much you put in. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> We are kindred spirits here, let me and tell you. You can season with salt and pepper if you'd yeah. like, but we're, we can do a taste at the end. Okay. Now with the cup of water. Oh, oh cup of water for here. What we said before, with, with pressure cooking, you do need a wet environment mm -hmm. in order for it to work okay. and for it to not burn. All right, we've got our environment right. Yeah. We've got everything in here. Do we re-add our short just, rib? Yeah, now you can okay. just re-add your short ribs. Okay. I like to nestle them in as if Aww. you're like putting them back into the pool. You want it to be as uh, as much okay. surrounded by the wetness as possible. All right, well, my, my bones are up. Yep. I'm gonna put my lid on. <laughs> when we come back, we will release the pressure cooker and find out more about Eric Kim. Amazing look, and don't forget, we've got a big giveaway coming up. We are back with Eric Kim, author of the new cookbook, Korean American, and we're making short rib braise with kimchi on pasta. It is cooked for about an hour in our pressure cooker, and now it's time to release the steam, Eric. There we go. We don't have our little whistle because we already had it open. Look at that. <laughs> Can you smell that? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is mm. an hour, yeah. two hours less than you do on stovetop. Yeah, exactly. And here you are with the short ribs. So what do we do next, Eric? Now, you just take out the meat and you want to shred it. That's all. Mm. Ooh, it's so melty. Look at that. You may that. need to use a ladle. Right. That's how soft it is. Look at that. Look at that. You could, if you wanted, yeah. you could actually shred the meat like in Inside? the Inside? Oh, that's yeah, great could. too. I like that idea. Just like, it might be a little easier. It depends okay. on, you know, what you want to do. But Look at that meat. Oh shredding my Shredding the meat. Gosh. Come on. All right. Look at that. That's... Look at that. All right, so um, Eric, we have our shredded short rib meat here. Yeah. And we have now taken off our sauce from the pressure cooker. Yes. You just pour it off. You skim, you want to remind people to skim the fat off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's a little fat that you, you notice on the top, yeah. you can skim it off. All right. And fry an egg in it later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, um, you know, with the leftover sauce, you just put it over some cooked meat. pasta. So we've already cooked our pasta. We have it here, we've drained it, and now we're putting on that delicious sauce that was inside with the meat. Um, and add back your meat now as well. Oh my gosh, so as I'm, I'm mixing this around and soaking up the pasta yeah, with the sauce. Exactly. Tell me, the book inspired by your family, what a beautiful tribute. Yeah, yeah, I think um, I wanted to debut with my life story, and I, I just felt like starting with family was the way to go, mm. you know? That's beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we're really letting the pasta soak into this sauce here. Yeah, and if there's a little liquid, what you kind of want to do is cook it over the heat a little bit, just until, you know, the liquid's like reduced. Mm. And, you know, what you end up with is a gorgeous pasta that is just imbued with this kimchi beef like gochugaru flavor. It's oh. really, really special. You can smell it right now, probably. I can smell yeah. it. You finish it off with a little cheese? Yeah, I definitely like to do some Parmesan. Parmesan yeah. cheese, a little parsley. Know. Yeah, I like to shower it on like that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. And then, Listen. A little green. A little green. Bam, right? A little green never hurt nobody. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat. I mean, I just want you to come in closer with, look at this. <laughs> look at that meat. Oh my gosh, I'm not even close enough to a camera. Oh my, this is a... I don't know if I'm coming back after the commercial break, because I might be up there. <laughs> my... Take a nap. This Take is nap. amazing. Congratulations. Thank you for having me. A beautiful tribute to your family to culture, to heritage. Thank you so much. Eric's new book, Korean American Food That Tastes Like Home. That title is so appropriate. This tastes like home. You know, and it's available now, and everyone in the audience is going home.